There are so many times in parenting, almost daily I would say, at least weekly or seasonally, where there's something that our child is struggling with and we're just trying as loving, concerned parents to figure out the answer or the solution. We are Googling things, we're talking to our friends, we're praying, we're just trying to solve the situation. This could be so many different things. Sleep has always been an issue with my daughter and she has always fought sleep and I cannot tell you how many conversations I've had with friends or how many things I've Googled or books I've read in regards to sleep but I just I bet you can relate if you have children and you just think about them there are probably different things with each of them that you might be concerned about and while I absolutely do advocate being informed and there absolutely are things that there are clear-cut solutions for I feel like there are so many things that come up in parenting that are both little and big that there is just not that clear-cut solution for and we just struggle with and struggle with and get frustrated with and today I just want to relieve you of that pressure I just want to relieve you of that pressure to fix things, to fix your child, to make things all right. I mean, there are things in you and me that probably could be fixed as well, but what I wanna to propose to you is that instead of being fixed, all your child really needs is to be loved through that situation. And I know that sounds nice and you might just agree with that because that sounds good, but just really think about whatever situation your children are dealing with. I think above all, they really just need us to be present and love them like even if they're hurting for instance if they're teething and you've tried the amber teething necklace and you've tried teething tabs and you've tried whatever sorts of solutions are out there but they're not helping we could either just keep searching and searching for the solution to the teething or to the pain they're going through or we could really just try and focus on being present and there for them and comfort them and be considerate of them as we go throughout our days and just being considerate of their situation and showing them love and compassion and I feel like that goes so far but just our world is so focused on solving things and information and having that right intellectual answer or that right specific diet for them but I feel like our role is so much more comprehensive you know as parents we are shaping little humans and no matter what they're going through I don't want my daughter ever to feel like I'm trying to fix her or to change her or so fixated on this problem she has. I want her in those times to know that I just love her and want to be present with her no matter what she's going through. My daughter's too young for this but for instance if she was getting bullied at school I cannot stop that from happening. Yes there are things you can do. You can talk to the teachers, you can talk to your daughter but you cannot stop that from happening but to be present there for her and to love her and to talk to her and to listen to her I think that would go so much further than, for instance, just stressing out about the situation and maybe just talking to our friends and just carrying that stress. Instead of just carrying that stress about a certain situation, if we just pour the energy into being present and loving with them, I think that's so freeing for us too as parents. And the big reason why I think this is a great solution to a lot of kind of parenting qualms is because that is how God deals with us. He isn't trying to fix us. And he isn't hurriedly trying to amend certain situations. What is characteristic about God is his consistent presence in our lives and his never-ending love. He's always there for us. He's always there to listen. He always has so much love and affection directed towards us and available for us. That is always there. And obviously, it can't be perfect like God, but I want to offer that to my daughter as God offers that to us. I want to be patient with her and be present with her, not just trying to intervene and fix things all the time. Like we as humans who want things fixed like to do. So I just pray that you and I can both have patience together and let go feeling like we need to change and fix different situations, our struggles, or characteristics of our children. And I know that God will give us the capacity to love them in the way that they need to be loved. I really think that if we seek God and ask Him how we can best love our children, that's all we need to do. It's just making that intention and getting out of our head, getting off of Google and just being like, okay, God, my child is struggling with this and I really feel tempted to fix things. I feel like I want to put things all together in the right places but I know I can't do that and I know my child is growing up. I know they're an individual. I know you've made them this specific way and I want you to help me love them as they are. I want you to help me encourage them and to see all the good things you put in them and all the good in this situation and I know I don't have control over them. I know I don't have control over the, a lot of the things that are around them or your family. Of course, some we do. But God, just give me the grace, give me the wisdom to be present and to love my child and to not try and fix and control things. That is my prayer for you and for me 
for all of us moms alike. I know not everyone is like this or struggles with this, but I think probably a lot of us do. So I just wanted to talk about it with you today because when God illuminated that to me, it definitely touched my heart and really helped me. And it was really beneficial to think about things that way. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. So if that was an encouragement to you, I'd love a thumbs up. Just let me know that you like these types of videos. And if you are new and want more encouraging videos like this, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have a beautiful day because you are absolutely worth it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.